Yeah. O método jurar <risos> é muito baixo. <risos> on our way. Next thing we need to do, we need to try and find where the car rental is. Um, we've only got probably about half an hour of faffing around here at the airport and then we have uh, our first viewing at one o'clock. But I pushed it back an hour so hopefully they're right about that. Right, I hope it's in here. So just got to Cantina Filippi, uh, up in Suave. It is roasting, honestly, it's like 36 degrees. Um, here a bit early, so just trying to find, I think it's Paola, who's looking after me today, so hopefully she is here. Um, these wines are supposed to be amazing, uh, yet to try them, so can't wait. So good. Oh, we still my mio nonno, mio nonna. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna be there. What? And another one there. Yeah. And that was the one. And that's how it works. This is going great. Filippo is a legend. So Filippo wouldn't let me out without the hat. <laughs> Not sure about the hat. Right. Good. This is Trebbiano di Soave. Filippo oh. <laughs> clearing the way. Come on, man. This is literally the craziest journey. He is going down the back alleys of his vineyard. Rocky, mountainous, definitely smashing up the bottom of his car. It's all good. The Hill of Suave. Just finished with Filippo Filippi. Um, going back to Verona now. We haven't been to our hotel yet, but just gonna go there, check in, chill out. It's still about 36 degrees, um, but my God, what an incredible start. So pumped. What 
I loved so much about Filippo was that he came he came across as just the most unpretentious person in the world. You know, there wasn't this massive drama about you know, the way he makes his wine. He would be the kind of guy who wouldn't talk down to you if you didn't even know anything about wine and it was the first time you've ever, you know, you've ever had a glass of wine, for example. I love winemakers who are just, you know, straightforward and welcoming and just want you to enjoy their product. Um, and his passion came across so well that, you know, I, th uh, yeah, as you can tell, really impressed. Um, and I'm gonna be getting a lot of his wines um, as soon as I'm back. To Verona. Okay, so one bad thing is the hotel doesn't have enough parking for me, so um, I've had to park a bit of a while away, but I'm hoping that the walk back isn't too bad and I hope I don't get lost. Okay. Walking into the hotel now. We're staying at the Hotel Palazzo, Hotel Palazzo Victoria. It's supposed to be really good. This looks a bit good. This hotel's already getting a thumbs up. Now, it's been a Pretty long day already. Um, part of me, part of me was thinking of going for a sleep, but, but I reckon if I conk out now, that's it. I'm done for the night. So uh, I'm gonna have a quick shower, and when you see me next, I'll be good to go, ready to rock. I can highly recommend, if you've got the time, and you're in Verona, you definitely go to, what's it called? Restaurante Greppia. Um, if you've got the time, it's amazing, definitely go. So I think there's a good place to finish today. First day, it's been a long day, but it's been awesome. Going to bed now, got a big day tomorrow. Got one producer who I'm visiting tomorrow. Um, so yeah, good night. See you in the morning. Yeah. Wow, 1930. You take How good is that? Yeah, take yeah. a picture. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> take a picture. <laughs> it's great.